German import from Sig Sauer on today's episode of This Old Gun. The P232 SL. So let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, very nice. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we're going to be looking at a Sig Sauer P232SL and this is a German imported gun. This is based off of the original Sig Sauer P230 which was developed in 1977 and ended its service in 1996 and was replaced by this guy in 96 and this gun ceased its production in 2015. And so after World War II, um, especially the West German police factions were carrying Walther PPs and PPKs, but they were really looking for something a little more powerful and a little more effective, especially after several terrorist incidents, as well as the Red Army's doings on and off throughout Berlin and most of Germany. But they didn't end up picking this gun. They ended up picking uh, the HK P7 and a couple of other models. I think one of them was developed by SIG. But this gun still did see some service under some police factions. And for the longest time, even the United States uh, police forces carried this at least as a backup gun to some degree. Now, it certainly is a nice competitor to the Walther PPK, and you've definitely got some different things that this gun has to offer as opposed to Walther's PP and PPK series. So I'm gonna go out to the range right now and show you guys just a little bit about how this gun works. Okay. Empty. So, as a competitor to Walther, this is actually pretty, was actually a pretty viable option. And looking at the target from just really pointing and shooting with this gun as a backup weapon, it's pretty viable. I've got a decent group down and to the right. And like I said, not exactly the greatest military type of firearm, even though that was why this gun was submitted for, for use and for testing. But police forces picked this up and thought it was a pretty nice idea for the time being. And SIG collectors are definitely out looking for these guns. And especially the early 230, uh, the early 230s. Like I said, this is a 232 SL. But it's nice to have a German import of one of these on this old gun. And it was nice to be able to go out and shoot it with you guys. Six hour P230 would be replaced by this gun, the P232. This is the SL model. There were a couple of changes made to the slide, including the front sight being permanently affixed to the slide. There's also a decocker on this model, which blocks the firing pin. And there were a few other things that basically made this gun a little more effective and a little more user friendly, I might say. So this gun, as I said, did cease production in 2015, but there are a lot of SIG collectors still out looking for this gun. And while it didn't really see a lot of military usage, um, it's still a viable option as opposed to a Walther PPK or PPKS. If you don't like the bite of the Walther, you can certainly pick up one of these if you can find them. And they're definitely a lot more collectible now considering that uh, Sig Sauer shut down their factories permanently in Germany. And while the 230s might be a little more collectible, it's still nice to be able to see a 232 SL as they're definitely German imported guns. Now this gun is sadly not for sale. It was loaned to me by a customer. Thank you very, very much for letting me take this out and check it out and shoot it. If you have one that you'd like to let me check out or appraise or tell you about, come on down to Cape Gunworks and uh, show it to me. I'd love to talk to you about it. Love to check it out for you. And don't forget to go to capegunworks.com forward slash TOG to check out some of my merch and some of my previous episodes. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around.